Hey guys, Doc Vinyl here. Um, and we are going to be discussing Record Store Day 2022, which is this Saturday, April 23rd. We're going to open up with Little Asia um, on CD, but of course we have it on vinyl for the first time too. Um, probably their best album since their first early stuff. Uh, pretty cool stuff, as you can hear. So cool. It has an Asian sound to it, so it's pretty cool. So that's kind of part of my talk today. Let's turn that down and get to the show. So this is a sneak preview for Record Store Day, April 23rd, 2022 at Max J Records. So we're going to look inside some of my personal favorites of Record Store Day. There's only four or five of them. There's nothing crazy. I mean, there's close to 100 releases, um, which you saw in the previous video that I did at the store. So today we're going to talk about some couple of close and individual ones, a couple of seven inches and some others that are pretty cool. These are my personal favorites, so these are like sneak, sneak preview for the store. First one I'm going to start with is Vince Guaraldi's baseball theme. This is a seven inch Record Store Day release. Um, really cool stuff. It's limited. Um, as you can see, it comes in a nice little sleeve. Um, what I really like that they've been doing on the seven inches releases is that they, first of all, they do it in color. As you can see, this is a white release, which is really, really cool. Um, and more importantly, look at the inside there. They don't, you don't have to get the spindle release. You can just play it regular. This is very similar to the UK 45 releases, which were released the same way. And I'm kind of glad that the new 45s are doing that. So we don't have to do the uh, spindles. So that's pretty cool. So this includes baseball theme 313 and baseball theme alternate take, which of course I grew up loving the peanuts. Um, I love Vince Guaraldi's, the Vince Guaraldi trio, all that stuff's really crazy. So one of the great things about this one is that I'm able to get the baseball ones. And of course, you know me, I teach a history of baseball class and baseball is probably one of my favorite sports. Um, so this was just really apropos for me, if you have to say. So really, really cool. Vince Guaraldi's trio, the baseball theme, and of course has a picture of uh, Charlie Brown on the cover. Very cool, limited release. I don't know, will it sell out? I don't know, but it's one of my personal favorites. Another seven inch that I couldn't stay away from is, of course, Blondie's Sunday Guard. This, I believe, was released originally on Plastic Letters, which, by the way, I'll be doing a um, discography on Blondie. Probably not complete, but pretty man, pretty clam close. This is Sunday Girl, really cool, on two different um, uh, seven inch releases. This is cool because this has the um, outtakes, the live recordings previously unreleased, and then it has the demo, the demo version of it. And I listened to both of them, they're very different than the original. And then of course they have the original version on the original night, original version on yellow. Again, the small spindle in the middle, both Sunday Girl and they have a French version that she speaks, she does in French, which is really, really cool. Uh, again, on Chrysalis, very nicely done, heavy stock cardboard um, sleeves for both both albums and I believe this one that one was on yellow and the, the demo is on red so that's really really cool red vinyl so kind of kind of really like that that's really neat the sleeve itself is really really nice they did a really really good job on packaging this one um, as you can see it has the whole blondie bit here on that early release talks a little bit about um, has the lyrics to the song which is really cool and readable format <laughs> Um, not that micro scale that it's in um, on CDs, which, which when I was a kid we'd be able to read, but now we can't read. Um, talking about the different releases of it here too. Just a very, very cool package. If you're into Blondie, as I am, and she's one of my favorite uh, early rock punk singers, if you want to call her punk, um, I guess. So I've always really liked her. So to me, it's highly collectible. I also have other 45 singles of her. Um, for instance, one of the songs that she did called Call Me which I did a while ago, which um, I believe John at Max J still has. Um, I have that right over here. And I think um, Arctic Monkeys, or is it da 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 b Jeff Beck, Berlin. Yeah, right here, Call Me. See, I talked about that one before. Pretty cool. Um, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is Call Me. Of course, this was the song from American Gigolo. So very, very cool. 
nevertheless. Okay, so let's get into the other releases, the vinyl releases that were released. We have the um, one that I was just playing, um, Asia. This one's really, really cool. I just wanted to turn that down. It was just a little loud. The uh, This one's Asia, and of course, this is the one I was talking about. This is the Asia Triple X album, which was the um, second album after their reunion with Jeff Downs, Steve Howe, Carl Palmer, and John Wetton. Um, this has a couple of good songs on it. This is a half-speed mastering for improved audio quality. It's also on a picture disc, as one can see right here. You can see the picture disc is very, very cool, um, as you can see. And I've already played it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and it's got the front and back on it. Just a very, very cool album. If you're into Asia um, and you'd like to get some of their collection, this was previously not available on vinyl at all, except an expensive European version. Um, it was never released here in the States. So this is the first time it's been available in the United States in vinyl. Now I have the CD version, which is the European version too, I believe. So very, very cool. This, their first album that was that featured the original members was Omega. And then there was uh, one other, I think Phoenix, Phoenix, Omega, and then Triple X. So these are the three albums. Triple X is really good. It's a very, very cool album. Of course, if you look up Triple X, you're gonna get off into weird things on the internet, but just saying, very, very cool album. It's got two big hits on it, the one I'm playing on it, the um, Face on the Bridge and Tomorrow the World. Um, so very, very cool, very cool album, very cool picture disc if you're into collecting. Very, very cool, nonetheless. Okay, another one I got was Jazz Sabbath Volume 1. Now this is exactly what it sounds like. It's Black Sabbath covers with a, played by a jazz trio. Very cool. They got songs like Paranoid, Snowblind, Behind the Wall of Sleep, Orchid, Sabracadabra, Symptoms of the Universe, NIB, and Black Sabbath from their first album. Very, very cool. Um, it's on white vinyl, as you can see right here. Very, very cool. White vinyl. Gotta love it. Um, nice stuff. So Jazz Sabbath Volume 2. And this was the first time, and this is a mono. Um, very cool sounding release. Very cool stuff, Jazz Sabbath, very cool. And I believe the Jazz Trio consists of Milton Keynes, Jax Tafona, and Juan Take on drums. Very, very cool stuff. And then of course they have additional members playing trombone and various percussions and guitars and saxophones and Hammond organ. Um, very cool, if you're into jazz and like rock stuff and um, a very unique piece here. Black Sabbath songs played in a jazz format. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool. Instrumental, of course, no singing, no Aussie screaming. All right, the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open right as we speak. This one is first time available on vinyl and exclusive blue color, Offspring's Greatest Hits. Now I love Offspring, so I figured, what the hell, I've had this on CD, never seen this on vinyl, so we're gonna open it the old fashioned way. Let me just kinda go back and forth like this, and then boop, it pops, and there we go. And voila, magic. So, this is Offspring, Record Store Day, and as I pull it out, oh, very, very cool. Um, oh, before I do this, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, this one right here on the Blacks, on the Jazz Sabbath release, I forgot. It also includes a CD. Look at that, um, right there, and that you can play in your car. This is a CD version of Get More. Black Sab this is Black Sabbath Live 1985 Jazz Sabbath 2020 documentary. So there's a little documentary. I believe it's a, is it a DVD or a CD? Does it tell you what it is? Uh, bonus tracks, translucent natural vinyl, bonus disc. It just says bonus disc, but this on the disc it says um, documentary live. So I assume it's a DVD, but pretty cool. Nevertheless, you get a little extras. Just wanted to add that in there. I forgot all about that, sorry. And that's the Jazz Sabbath. Now, back to the Offspring. So this is Offspring's greatest hits. What can I say? It's got all the great songs on it. Can't repeat, come out and play, self-esteem, gotta get away, all I want. I'm sure you're all familiar with those songs. Pretty much. This is a very big hit when it came out. So let's look at what we're gonna get in the box. So we get a beautiful, yeah, paper sleeve, not my favorite, but we get, look at blue vinyl. Very, very cool. Offspring's greatest hits in blue vinyl. And really has all the great songs that everybody likes. So really cool, I'll be playing this later. So very cool. That is what we get inside on this one. So again, this is exclusive blue color. God, that includes all his hits, and this is their first time on vinyl record store day release right there. See? Check it out. Very, very cool. Like Offspring, too. They got some really cool songs. They're very much a 90s band. 
Okay, on to another one we have here. This is Max Roach, Freedom Now Stuff. This is one of my jazz favorites with Coleman Hawkins. You don't get a lot of Coleman Hawkins stuff since he died young. Abigail Lincoln, this has all kinds of cool people on it. And of course, Max Roach, one of my favorite drummers. I've seen him live a couple times. He used to teach at UMass Amherst, which is really, really cool. So um, a very interesting drummer, a very cool drummer nevertheless. So let's open this one up. Oop. Let's see what we got here. Oh, beautiful. It is on Claire Vinyl. Look at that. Very pretty, very collectible. If you're into jazz, as I am, this is a classic recording because it really has some really great, great musicians on it. And jazz is really about who's playing on it. It's got some great uh, Drive Man, Freedom Day, Triptych, All Africa, and Tears for Johannesburg. Uh, South African kind of motif going on here. And this has Abigail Lincoln right here, Glatuna J on percussions, and we have Max Roach on drums. We have Coleman Hawkins on um, tenor sax, I believe. Uh, Coleman Hawkins being cool as all. Booker T is on this too. Booker Little on trumpet. Um, I'm sorry, not Booker T, Booker Little's on trumpet. Booker T is a keyboard player, I believe, sorry. Um, that's why I just read it quickly. I actually have my glasses. See, this is what happens when you don't wear your glasses. See, Steve, you don't wear your glasses and you say the wrong musicians and you're attributing the wrong people. Terrible bad boy. Okay, yes, Booker Little on trumpet. Walter Benton on tenor sax. Abigail Lincoln on vocals. Um, Coleman Hawkins plays on Driver Man. He plays tenor sax and he plays on Freedom Day, and I guess the two songs he only plays on is Drive a Man and Freedom Day. Again, like I said, there's not a lot of Coleman Hawkins stuff at this time, so it's really, really cool. Um, Thomas DeVell, but just a very, very cool jazz album, and it's a very unique, remastered by Bernie Grudman. So, I mean, this is really cool stuff from the original master tapes. You really can't go bad, so you know that it's gonna be analog. It's gonna be really, really cool, so can't really go wrong with that. It's a jazz classic. Um, there was a lot of jazz releases this year, but uh, this record store day, but this is one of my favorites. I have a lot of jazz, so a lot of it's redundant to me. So um, there's a mono version of Bob Pepper and meets the rhythm section and stuff, and that's cool, but I already have it in stereo, so I, mean, I don't have that many versions of it. Okay, the last one I want to do is um, a band I really didn't know much about. I want to try out. They're a progressive metal band. They're called Voivod, um, Angel Rats, the album. And this is a Splatter Edition 1991 prog metal masterpiece. So um, pretty cool stuff. So let's see what this looks like. This is a Splatter piece, so this is probably really, really cool. So I wanted to check this one out too and see what this is all about. And I listened to the music. I listened to it on, um, you know, streamed it. And I thought it was pretty cool. So I figured, what the hell, let's get it for the collections because it's something different. Oh God, we're having a hard time with this one. The magic's not working. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go, there it goes, there it goes. I knew it would work. And then... There we go. And this, and these are pretty cool songs. Got some crunchy ham and organ on it, some cool metal. And this is on yellow splatter. Look at that, that's pretty cool. It's a purple and yellow splatter. So this is definitely gonna be um, a display piece and a definitely cool songs. And the recordings are really, really good too. So very, very cool. Let's go through the recordings on this and who the, who the members of the band are. So in case you don't know who they are. Um, this is a trio by Dennis Belanger, Dennis Damore, and Mike uh, Michelle Langevine on drums. So I'm going to take a guess on this that they are a Canadian, French Canadian band. So kind of like Rush, but a little heavier. And then they have some um, Jean Zvia Thurbo and bass guitar, keyboards. They got some crunchy Hammond B3, like I said. So they have um, short, short, short wave intro, Panorama, Clouds in My House, The Pro, Best Regards, Twin Dummy, and Angel Rat, which is the name of the album. Side two is Gollum, The Outcast, Nuage Fractal, and Freedom, and none of the above. So pretty cool. It's a pretty much considered a um, prog metal masterpiece, which I wasn't very familiar with. So I took a sleep, took a chance on this one, and I kind of liked it. So it's pretty cool. I suggest you guys do the same. So that is my sneak preview for Record Store Day 2022. Um, by the way, there will be a secondary release in June of some extra hits that didn't make it on this list. I guess they had too many and they kind of would have overflow and that will be for June. So again, this will be for um, April 23rd, Saturday, coming up. Um, I suggest if you're into any of these or any others, um, you get there early because as you know, Record Store Day releases sell out lots of times, especially certain ones, and then you can't get them and then they go into eBay and they exorbitant amount of money. 
So this is probably the best way to go. I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek on some of my favorites. Of course, there's plenty, plenty more there. So Max J Records, sneak preview, Record Store Day 2023, April 23rd, 2022, sorry, 2022, April 23rd, let me jump on ahead. So cool. So I hope you guys like that and check it out. And Doc Vinyl will be back again next time with a band discography. And then I have some other ideas for thematic stuff. So if you guys, please subscribe, get involved, let me know what you guys are into, and I'd love to hear your comments. Doc Vinyl out.